morning my friends once again from Khartoum and this time today I'm gonna cycle again I'm gonna start my last uh, cycling leg across uh, across Sudan and my back is ready again and have a new repair let's see just to give you a quick look so you see this time no welding this time I have this here a plate with uh, some some screws and I have a pin inside screwed inside the structure so hopefully this will get me all the way to Addis. Let's see. Anyway, I just have like 200 kilo. I'm gonna cycle 200 kilometers in this video to Wad Modani, and that's gonna be my last leg cycling in Sudan because then I'm gonna put the bike on the minibus because on the way to the border to Ethiopia it's a lot of uh, desert and it's a slightly troubled area also. So that's why I don't wanna ride it for safety reasons as well. Okay, it's time to go. Uh, after uh, two weeks and a half without cycling here in Khartoum, it's time to resume the journey. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yalla, yalla to Wad Modani. Hopefully the rack will survive. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so now I am extra careful. Hello, hello. Now I am extra careful with the speed bumps. Actually, the repair is starting to... It's starting to break. But because it's not welded, because it's a plate uh, that is screwed, it can break slowly, slowly. So it moved a little bit, but uh, it's still holding somehow. So let's see how it is now. Okay. Wow, okay. So it's not that bad actually. So you see there is a gap here, uh, but the gap is not, was not here originally. So it moved this way, it moved sideways, but it seems it's holding. And this one seems okay as well. Well, hopefully it continues like that. Good, good, good. Fucking idiot! What the fuck? Oh, fuck. You see, 
Everybody is not nice in Sudan. Those guys. Yeah, yeah. Problem. Mushkila. Kabir, Mushkila Kabir. Yeah, they're coming again, yeah. Hey! Hey! Wow, these idiots gave me so much strength. I'm losing my voice, but I'm flying on the road now. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, hello. So I am almost halfway. It's uh, half past 11, so I might stop and I'm in a kind of city. So I might stop here for lunch, for my lunch break. Hello, hello. Everyone says hello here. And it's good, it's still hot, but it's much more bearable. It's just like maybe five degrees less than uh, when I was uh, cycling before. It's only 38, 37, 38, but it's so much more bearable. Okay, let's see if here they have food. Oh, maybe they have pizza. Oh, wow. Akal? Yes? Ah. Uh, food. Maybe shawarma, yeah. What kind of food? Uh, maybe something like this. That's it, wrap. Chicken oh, wrap. that's wrap. That's chicken wrap. Yeah, chicken wrap. Okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, they have juice here also? I think you have. Okay, they have, yeah. okay that's very good. Yeah. Are, you, are you filming? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Salam alaikum. You have a. That's the menu? Yes. Yeah, okay. okay. Do, do you have juice? Juice, yeah. It's very bad, it's very bad, it's very bad. It's very bad, okay. No, it's good, it's good. Uh, do, do you have like a strawberry juice? You have strawberry? Yes. Oh, like, like this, yeah. Oh, this is good, yeah. Can I get one head like this? One head? Like this? Yes. Okay. One head? Okay. Can I get one head like this? You can? Huh? Camera. Okay, bye bye. Okay, I cannot film here, so, so I'm gonna go to eat somewhere else. Okay, I am hungry, but I cannot eat here. They don't want me. Well, they don't want my camera. So let's go find another place where they are camera friendly. Okay, bye. There's a place with a tiger here. I think tigers like camera, like cameras. Look at this beautiful tiger. Uh, but maybe it's only tea here. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. We got Akal? Hi. Okay. The woman seems friendly. I can put it here? Okay. So here is my bike. Uh, let's get the phone. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, you got uh, Akal? Akal, there you are. Good, good. What, what do you have? Uh, uh, eggs. Uh, eggs? Eggs? Eggs, yeah. Eggs? 500. 500. Five. And Tamiya? Tamiya egg. Ah, Tamiya with eggs. One, two. Uh, uh, one, okay, two. Uh, one, I will see after, maybe two after, but okay, just one. Okay, okay. And, uh, Salam alaikum. You are uh, Chai, no? Uh, okay, uh, uh, bad, bad. bad. You, you have. Oh, this is the Tamiya with eggs. 
And you have drinks, no? Uh, you have Coca-Cola? Coca-Cola. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll get one Coke. So no juice. I was gonna have a beautiful juice there, but uh, they refused the camera. So let's see here. Not very cold, but it does not matter. Salam alaikum. Huh? No camera? No. Why? Yes. Yeah, just yeah, a little bit. Yes. Uh, why, why I cannot? Huh? Okay, shukran. Why Mushkila? Mushkila Sudan. Mushkila Sudan? Hello. 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 Where are you going? Madani, Madani. Madani. So you see, in Sudan it's Sharia law, and uh, basically many things are forbidden. For example, Gamer told me that a friend of his was wearing short pants once in uh, in Khartoum, and he got fined two hundred dollars for wearing short pants. Two hundred dollars, which is probably more than a month's salary for wearing short pants. That's the greatness of the law in Sudan. Hmm? Camera. Camera, yeah. I can go behind. Okay. Come on. Come on, come on. Okay, shukran. Okay, bye bye. Yalla. Yeah, I mean, the vast majority of Sudanese don't mind at all the camera. They are happy with the modern times. But uh, you know the Muslim Brotherhood is not does not think the same. Hello. Okay. Salam alaikum. <laughs> oh, there are many restaurants here actually. Okay, so I already did 120 kilometers. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. I have only 60k left to reach uh, Wad uh, Madani. So I'll probably try to push it to reach there in one day. Assalamu alaikum. Break time. Oh my god, I have 40k left and I have maybe two hours left of sunlight. I don't find uh, cafeterias on the way really and uh, and uh, my tent is broken so I probably have to make it. <laughs> Bye Mark. Eighteen kilometers left. It's really hard. My legs are oh my god, they're so painful. And that's look at that. Hopefully it's not gonna be that expensive. Look at this hotel. So here I am in my room. Quite expensive, but uh, I decided to get some luxury for my last uh, for the end of this trip in Sudan. So that's what you get for about $40 in Sudan. This, on this bed, the sheets are clean. On this one, not that much. But it's quite, I mean, it's very good. And here, I was very surprised. They even gave me soap. And you see the toilets, the shower was good. I don't know if there is hot water, but the temperature was, was good. And like the toilets are kind of clean, which is uh, 
first time I see clean toilets in a hotel in Sudan, so it's quite good. And then, how do you open that? Uh, oh, here. Okay. And there I have a balcony. You see, so, so it's a fancy building. As you see, there is the Blue Nile just there. Beautiful palm trees. Okay, let's go down. I need to eat. I am. I am just surviving. Ah. Okay. And it's forty dollars. And there is breakfast included, actually. So my bike is hidden somewhere in the lobby. And I think there is uh, some food. Ah, some kind of night market stalls not far. But you see what a big, big fancy hotel. Very nice. It's good to have some uh, luxury sometimes. When I was riding with old Roger, Roger asked me what, what, how would uh, I live my life if I would uh, won in the lottery and have millions and millions of dollars. And I told him I would probably live the exact same life. I would do the same journey as what I'm doing now. Uh, yeah, because I just do that because that's what I love actually. So I would live the same life. But the only difference is I would probably go, maybe not all the time, but sometimes to like luxury hotels because it's good to have hard life on the road to experience hard life but it's also good to have comfort sometimes so you see there are tables here, there are tables there so I guess that's where, where I'm gonna eat yeah so 180 kilometers today my second longest day since I left France but what amazes me is honestly, I, I have never experienced that much pain in the legs because I did not cycle for two weeks and a half. So my body was still ready, but not fully ready, especially to do such a huge day. I don't know, the last 40 or maybe 60 kilometers. My legs were so damn painful. But it's unbelievable, the power, the will, the power of the brain. If your brain wants to do something, as long as you don't collapse, you will do it. It's just incredible. I pedaled like the last 60 kilometers just with my head. My legs were pushing, but I have no idea how. Really incredible, the power of the human brain. The power, the willpower especially. Okay, when you convince yourself that you can do something, you just do it. And that's awesome. Oh my God. Let's see if we can eat something. They were looking at me, let's see. I've been rejected so much with the camera today. Ah, oh. alaikum. Do you have like meat? You have meat? Oh, you just have this? Just this, okay. Ah, sorry. Uh, what do I want? I don't know. Salam alaikum. What, what, what do you have? Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah, but this uh, I don't I don't like this. Yeah. I don't like. I don't like. Yeah, yeah. What like? Uh, I don't know. I want to see. Oh, there they have barbecue or? I want. I want. Oh, they have barbecue. I don't like. Oh yeah, like this meat barbecue. No. No. This meat. Oh, like this. Uh, yes, oh, yes. this I like. Yeah. I, I like. Yes, I like. Uh, yes. Be bicam, bicam. Alfonso Arrubo. Alfonso Arrubo, okay. Okay, so I think it's uh, one thousand. Welcome. Ah, welcome. It, it's uh, this one. Yes, yes. Okay. And did they have? Okay. Uh, I, I can go inside. Welcome. Okay. Sugar and sugar. Okay, they seem friendly here. Uh, they, they have juice, juice, drink. Uh, ah, just this. Uh. But no, like. Uh, this? Yeah? Yeah. You have? Ah, okay. Big Portugal? Portugal? Drink? 
Bikan. Tumtumia. Tumtumia. Okay. Okay. Can I get one to Portugal? Drink. Yeah, juice. Okay, okay, shukran. Shukran. Drink orange? Huh? Drink orange? Yeah. Orange? Juice? Yeah. One? Uh, yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah. Three hundred. Three hundred. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so you, uh, I can sit here? No, no. Ah, inside. Ah, okay, I have to sit inside. Sit here, sit here, sit here. I can sit here? Tamam? Okay, shukran. Shukran. Ah, okay, shukran. <laughs> and do you have Moya? Moya? Moya. Can I have Moya? Yes. Please. Okay, I'm gonna sit outside because it's fresher outside. I'm happy. They are nice here. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Ah. From where? France. France. Yes. Enter. One madani. One madani. Okay. Good. Uh, smack. I. I am. I am. Nice to meet you. Okay, local water. Let's get some local water. Shukran. Because actually I calculated uh, my water perfectly, so now I have no more water. I had five liters, I think, and I. I drank all my water, just perfect for the arrival, but now no more water. Oh, this water is clean and fresh. Good, good, very good. Yeah. Shukran. So here is my orange juice. Oh, very sweet actually. Very good. Oh wow. Hello food. Shukran. Shukran. Thank you. Wow, that looks good. So what do I have? Oh, they even gave me some food. So I have a little bit of food here. I have a bit of food. I have lovely meat. And they gave me bread also, of course. Mm. Oh, and actually the Sudanese food is really good. Much better than the Egyptian one. Let's try some meat. It is so tender. Unbelievable. Oh, wow. Oh my god. <laughs> That's awesome. Mm. I was, I don't know, I had, for some reason I thought the meat is gonna, was going to be a little bit hard. Very good, yeah. Mia, mia, yeah. <laughs> it is so tender, unbelievable, really. Such a wonder. This meat is <laughs> it's very good, yeah. Yeah, me, yeah, yeah. Video, yeah. Oh. Oh. Awesome. Very good. That's why I eat a lot of meat, actually. Because, I don't know why, I guess it's probably because of the way they, they are told to prepare the meat in the crown, I guess. But um, often, meat in Muslim countries or in Muslim restaurants let's say is really really good I don't know what they do with it but it's so good and this one is like oh, oh. Done with the food, I'm gonna go to sleep now. My last last stop before Ethiopia would be a city called Al Qadarif, and I'm not gonna cycle there. One of the reasons why I'm not gonna cycle there, of course, there is the, the desert. There is like 230 or 40 kilometers of desert on the way. It's going up, so probably I don't have enough battery. 
that also like uh, apparently recently 15 people got killed I think in in demonstrations against the government so apparently the situation is kind of tense there so it's probably better to go by minibus to be more uh, discreet bye guys ciao see you for the next adventures 